The release of Reset Floor version 13 includes code updates, drawing grid improvements, as well as other modeling and analysis features. New building codes according to the IBC 2018 have been updated, including the AIC 15th edition steel code, as well as the American Wood Council NDS 2018. Additionally, load generation for 3D wind loads according to ASC 716 and NBC 2015 have been added. Also, seismic load generation according to ASC 716 as well as NBC 2015 have also been added. In addition to these code changes, we've also updated the load combination generator for both IBC 2018, both for strength and service, as well as the NBC 2015 for strength and service. Another new feature is the addition of construction lines to the drawing grid functionality. When we enable draw construction line, we can see that there are three new options. The first, being point to point, can be used by selecting two individual points to define the construction line. The next option requires the user to define a point as well as an angle to define the extents of the construction line. The third option includes defining an offset distance from a given member, either a beam, wall, or project grid. The member is then selected graphically to create the construction line. Another new feature includes the ability to copy elements from one floor to the next. We can see in this model that we have floor framing on floor plan 1 that we want to have copied onto floor plan 2. Using a save selection, we can choose only these elements, and then using the Copy Selected Items feature, choose Copy to another floor. We can choose our floor plan, and select the elements that we want to copy to the other floor. For more information about other new features included in RESA Floor version 13, visit resa.com slash new features.